Jojo, and right now you're watching season two on Inside Nick. We've got tons of fun things planned. Do you guys use real weapons? We know how to sword fight. I know how to use a bow and arrow. I knight myself. Harley, it looks like they found us. I am the voice of Slavwick. <laughs> and we're getting turned into old women. I'm scared. Hey, Carly. Hey, Taryn. It feels like ages since we gave fans the Nickelodeon. The Nickel what? The Nickelodeon. Oh, yes, You yes, know. Yes. yes, but Taryn, you have to remember that all of this is just movie magic makeup. That's right, because... We're, we're back, back, Insiders! And you're watching Inside Nick. We've been reading your comments to see what you wanted more of. That's right, you ask and we deliver. We've got tons of fun things planned. Like that crazy old age makeup you just saw? We're gonna show you all about that a little bit later. But first, movie magic. There are lots of different kinds of magic used in movies and TV. Some are makeup or practical effects. And some come from lots of training and practice. You know, they do a lot of sword fighting on Night Squad. Maybe we should ask Daniela and Owen. Good call. Yeah. Let's go. You guys, with the sword fighting and stuff, do you do all that yourself? Yeah, I mean, we did like a boot camp thing for like five days or something like that before we start shooting. And since we are knights, I mean, we learn lots of moves. We know how to sword fight. I know how to use a bow and arrow. We have stunt doubles, so they do like some of our stuff, not all of it. Okay. All the flips, it all the arc flips. Yeah. I can't do any of that. Do you guys use real weapons? Well, they're like, they're metal, but they're not sharp. While we're fighting, they make actual they noise. They make real right? sounds. They're actually sword fighting. But afterwards, they like add sounds. Just to make, make it, sound it a little real. bit more intense. Do you guys ever need to do hand-to-hand -hand combat? Yeah, we don't do it on our set, but our, the crossover with Henry, Henry Danger, Danger we, we did. Just fight hand -hand someone. Combat. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun. So much fun. You want to go learn how to do it ourselves? Yeah, I think we okay. should probably all right. do it. We'll yeah. see you guys later. With okay. no experience at all. Okay. Nope, we're, you know, we're good. Good luck. Oh, oh, oh. We're still here. Oh. We're, we're new. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Still Let's learning. Try this again. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, we're here with Brian Danner. Yeah. Hey. He has done stunt work on several of your favorite Nickelodeon shows, including Henry Danger and Night Squad. And he's going to teach us some moves today. Start with the footwork first. Then we're going to learn how to defend ourselves. We're going to learn the blocks and the parries. And then we are going to learn to attack. We can take on those guys, oh, no problem. For sure. Hey, team, do you hear that? They want to fight you guys. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe this was a bad, this was a bad, bad call, bad call, bad call. Bad call. All right, all right, all right. Stand down, everyone. Let's give them a little more training, right? Okay, good, good, good. What we're doing here has been practiced. We've worked through the safety. We've worked through the choreography. Your moves and your partner's moves, and when you put it together, it makes a nice picture for our fans at home. Uh, I got that one. That one is <laughs> That was pretty yeah. easy, right? That's your jam. So a lot of times, we will sacrifice what might be realistic for what is safe. Safety is the most important thing in what we do. I'm very close to myself, I feel like, and it doesn't look like I'm actually, it, it does. It really like will. Okay. What you're seeing is your cameras? Yeah, that's true. Our cameras are back here. True. She can be a mile away and we can still sell it as long as she's picking up what you're putting down. Amazing. Oh, I make it look so real. <laughs> I'm getting better. It takes a lot of training, but these guys know what they're doing, even though I'm about to bring it. I got this. I'm not going to mess it up. All right, here we go. Carly, how you doing? <laughs> I say don't look over there because it might be really good and that'll really make you nervous. Okay, um, I think I can do better than yeah, Karen. Right? Don't look because it's really good. Yeah. I knight myself. Can you do that? I think you got everything all sorted. Uh, this one. This one with the puns. Yeah. Alright, I'm about to watch Carly. Belly, and. <laughs> yes! I did it! I would definitely let her protect me. We should probably tap with our sword. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah a little five. sword high five. Yeah. There it is. Okay guys, we've learned our footwork, we've learned our defense, and we've learned our offense. And now it's time to put it all together in one big battle. Let's do it. Yeah. You got this. Back to back. Carly, it looks like they found us. No matter what happens, you'll always be my best friend. BFF. Forever. For Nickelodeon! Hey Carly, 
looks like we got him in the nick of time. You know, Taryn, I think we might have just graduated from night school. Yeah, I do too. Hey, Brian, so are we official stunt women now? Uh, well, you did great today, but uh, I want to remind you that it does take years and years of practice to be a stunt person. So if you're interested out there, make sure that you seek out the proper training and take your time to learn it safely. Yes, absolutely. But now we're going to go learn a little bit more about special effects. Yep, that's right. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, now that we're back, let's talk practical effects. Ooh, like that old age makeup we did at the beginning of this episode. Exactly. Let's tell the insiders how that effects makeup process happened, beginning to end. We're gonna start your makeup process. Very excited. We're here with Todd Tucker, who is a special effects makeup artist and creature creator, which is such an awesome title. <laughs> hey, Todd. How are you? Good. I'm getting older by the second. He's actually doing special effects makeup on us right now, and we're getting turned into old women. Ah. So what we're using right now is, this is actually medical adhesive. This is called a prosthetic. No. Yes. Correct. <laughs> this is a uh, silicone prosthetic. Uh, when we do old age makeups, a lot of times we use silicone because it has translucency and it looks and moves like real skin. It um, feels like it. Yeah, it feels like real skin too. Oh, I just touched my chin. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just fits my whole face. What are you oh. So if you're making a movie with this and you have 50 days of shooting, you have to use a new one every day. Every single day. These are one-time use, so it's like starting from scratch every time. So tell us more about the creature creation. Well, for Night Squad, we have a character on there called Slobwick. Um, I am the puppeteer underneath that makes uh, his head and mouth and body move. And then uh, I also have a mic on, and I am the voice. <laughs> he just makes little sounds like Inside Nick, what would it sound like? You're watching Inside Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little disappointed to find out Slavic isn't real because I want Slavic. <laughs> Everyone should have a Slavic, right? <laughs> <laughs> he does have good aim. You turned Owen into a pig, right? Oh, yeah, I did actually. <laughs> wow. I'm a monster. That's incredible. Yes. This guy knows what he is doing. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> so scared. For the majority of us, we started doing this as, as kids and just kind of learned it in our garage. So now that we have this beautiful skin layer applied, our friend Martin over here Hi. is going to be airbrushing to add color and texture to our faces. So let's get this airbrush going, Martin. All right. I just looked at myself and I, I don't recognize myself. This is Nicole, our lovely makeup artist. This is the makeup that they add on after the prosthetics and the airbrushing. This is just yeah. what Granny would be wearing naturally. It's been about three hours since we got in this chair and this makeup process began. Let's switch you over to this side. I'm so excited. They just placed the wig on me. I think it really adds a lot. It brings out your eyes. <laughs> it brings out my eyes. Do I look good? We're fully getting into character right now. Todd is just giving me some touch-ups, adding some dark spots to my hands and face. How's it looking there? Looking Todd? good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking old. Love to hear that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my this is unbelievable, you guys. This is so, it's so cool. cool. I am suited up into my old lady body. This is a fat suit, and it's padding and more padding. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's more to love. In the house. We are complete. I've, I've never felt older. Is it time to hit the town, or what are you gonna uh, do? Yeah. yeah, let's go! Oh, Nickelodeon! We're doing 
nailing it right. Aren't we we are nailing it. Carly and Carly. <laughs> I'm Taryn. And I'm Carly. And you're watching Inside Nick. That was amazing. But I am glad to look like myself again. Me too, but we learned so much in this episode. That's true, and there's so much more to still explore at Nickelodeon. So be sure to comment below what else you want to see. Oh yeah. And we'll see you next time on Inside Nick. Be sure to leave a comment below to subscribe. And click the heart button to like it. Yes, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>